There is nothing like a little bit of horror, especially during the month of Halloween and when Halloween Eve is coming soon. And that's why yours truly is most proud to share with you guys and gals my top 7 favorite horror franchises in video games. 7 horror franchises which yours truly loves so goddamn much. And these 7 horror games guys and gals, these 7 horror slash survival horror franchises in video games are ones yours truly loves so much and appreciates for their good stories, their good and compelling stories. Survival horror guys and gals is about really getting under your skin. It's about telling good stories about blood and yet interesting and very human people who despite their past sins are very much human. The nightmares they endure are ones which we can relate to and understand as well as empathize with. We can experience their fear, their terror, their rage, hatred and determination to overcome these nightmares because when you push someone against a corner or a wall just like a fox that fox guys and gals will get angry and that fox will bite hard he will bite so hard you will not even see it coming and that guys and gals is what it means to be a survivor a survivor within the survival horror tales from their respective franchises and that's why guys and gals once again yours truly is so proud and honored to share with you guys and gals my top seven favorite horror franchises survival horror franchises in video games and these games guys and gals these survival horror franchises in video games will be ranked based on a ranking system from number seven to number one and here's how the list goes <laughs> You know, I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible-thumping. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. At number 7 we have Outlast. Outlast guys and gals is without question one of the most gut-wrenching and unnerving survival horror games. These two survival horror games guys and gals are ones yours truly was so disturbed by. Especially that one sequence, that one part in the DLC, Whistleblower in Outlast 1. That DLC guys and gals has one operation scene. That operation scene guys and gals if you're a man and you watch that scene and experience it through the point of view of this man, this journalist it will get under your skin and trust me guys and gals I was shaking I was fucking sweating and I was fucking violated guys and gals watching that fucking scene it was so fucking hard to watch and yet that is the recipe in a damn good survival horror game two survival horror games which yours truly love so goddamn much and that's why they rank at number seven <gasps> Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. I'm here because of this. At number 6 we have the Evil Within series, the Evil Within 1 and 2. These games guys and gals are so damn good and yours truly loves them so much for their stories, their stories, atmospheres and performances among so many other great qualities of these two games. This series guys and gals is one yours truly loves and appreciates for its artistry and storytelling. I love the stories in these games, especially the story of Sebastian Castellanos and his beloved daughter in the Evil 
within two and Julie Kidman my god guys and gals Julie fucking Kidman she goes from someone who we could not know if we can trust or not into someone who we do root for and someone who's completely on our side I love these games guys and gals again for the story and not so much for the horror the horrors in these games are good but the stories are fucking phenomenal especially the evil within two which in my opinion is the better of the two and that's why they rank at number six we have Biohazard aka Resident Evil. Resident fucking evil guys and gals is one of those franchises which is undying. It will never go away just like the Call of Duty series. Even though so many hate the Call of Duty series, it will never die but continue to sell and sell because of the fans and because this series has developed a hardcore fan base just like the RE series. The RE series in particular goes truly has grown up with from 1996 all the way to now and beyond guys and gals. I love this series so goddamn much, especially the RE1 remake, RE7, and the RE3 remake, which I love so goddamn much, especially Jill's outfit. Goddamn guys and gals, Jill fucking Valentine's outfit is so goddamn hardcore and so badass, and these games guys and gals in general are so good, and that's why they rank at number 5. Number four, we have Fatal Frame 1, 2, and 3. Fatal Frame 1, 2, and 3, guys and gals, are so awesome, and the stories, my god, are so goddamn heartfelt and creepy at times. The bonds between the siblings in these games, from the brother and sister bond of Fatal Frame 1, 2, the sisters' bonds in Fatal Frame 2 and 3, are so good and so heartwarming. They really are, guys and gals. The horrors in these games are so goddamn insane and so intense as fuck. Outlast is intense guys and gals but these games forget about it guys and gals fucking forget about it because the Japanese understand horror they really do and that's why these games this franchise ranks at number four Number three, we have the Clock Tower series. The Clock Tower series, which began from 1995 all the way to 2004 or 2005. This series, guys and gals, I love so goddamn much. And the fan films on these games, a fan film actually, which is separated into two parts on YouTube. In the late 1950s, a plague of unspeakable terror swept across the East Coast. One by one, victims were slashed to death by an insane maniac wielding a giant pair of scissors. 
The deranged scissor man left no survivors to tell the twisted tale. Since the murderer's capture, the gory details have been forgotten, and the story has slowed into legend. <laughs> Jim Arnold is the director of this two-part film, which I do recommend you guys and gals watch, the links of which will be down below in the description box. But this series, guys and gals, this franchise, I love so much for the horror, for the heart, and the performances, which at times can be so cringe and so funny as fuck. It's cheese done right or cringe done right. The Japanese versions of these games is so great, and this series as a whole is so fucking phenomenal, it really is, and that's why it ranks at number three. At number two, we have Yuri's The Strange Men series. The Strange Men series, which includes The Crooked Man, The Sand Man, The Boogie Man, and The Hanged Man. These games, guys and gals, are so fucking awesome and so heartfelt once again. So heartfelt and tell compelling stories of damaged, flawed, and yet complex human beings. Human beings who have their own personal demons and sins. Sins which continue to haunt them until they overcome the nightmares and essentially their sins. Yuri, guys and gals, she writes stories of human beings, people who have their own personal desires, sins, and flaws, but their flaws, guys and gals, are what makes them strong, and that, guys and gals, I love so goddamn much, among so many other great qualities in this franchise, the Strange Men series, which is why they rank at number two. <laughs> At number one, we have the Silent Hill series because, of course, it's going to be the Silent Hill series. The Silent Hill series is without question one of the best franchises ever made, one of the best horror franchises and franchises in general. These games, guys and gals, especially Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4, the original Silent Hill games and Downpour included, which I do love. These games, guys and gals, all five of them rank among my favorite horror games ever made, especially Silent Hill 2, 3, and 1. One of
of so many aspects of this series which is so great and that is minimalism the minimal use of music and sounds is so great at creating atmosphere and tension in these games which I love so goddamn much guys and gals I really do and that's why these games and this franchise as a whole rank at number one thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my other channel where I talk about movies television programs and anime series etc until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara <laughs>